Hi everyone and welcome to the Good Woo and Happy New Year's Eve. So as we say goodbye to 2020, I wanted to just come on and briefly do a little video. Patrons will be getting an extended video where I go deeply into what 2021 looks like it could bring, right? The potential of it. So right now we have some incredible cosmic energy supporting us to make these New Year's resolutions that we always try to do right on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. There are some years though where we have not had that support. Like last year was one of them where, you know, whatever you may have tried to initiate as far as change or commitment, didn't really have fertile ground. Well, this year, the way that the planets are aligned and how they're affecting planet Earth and therefore each and every one of us, we have some real fertile ground to work with. And really, as far as resolutions and vision is concerned I want you guys going for 20 years ahead don't just do what you want to see change within you and outside of you in 2021 really think about what the next 20 years what do you want it to look like what you want it to feel like what you want to manifest what's your vision so it's a great time for a vision board right now so as we're saying goodbye to 2020 what we really want to take in to 2021 is how 2020 taught us about solitude and the difference between solitude and an isolation and the difference between communion with ourself and creating a sanctuary and loneliness the difference between those things now 2020 was not a year for romance or really you know to be truthful like initiating anything brand new but 2021 is quite different it actually has some incredible energy of change we have a saturn uranus square that's going to be exact in february in june and in december and that dynamic energy is really going to help us make radical radical changes all those things that we were dreaming about in 2020 that we thought oh well that's really what i want you know those how we changed our mind in 2020 well 2021 is going to help us put that into action and in some ways the more radical your ideas the more outside of the box your vision the more traction it's going to get so for right now i just want to pull one totem card in the spirit of seeking the sacred earth and the patrons will actually be getting a much larger reading today. So if you're interested in more, please head over to the Patreon page, patreon.com slash the good woo, where I share a lot of just more in-depth readings and writings and things get more personal over there. So for this year, 2021, for the collective, what animal spirit will be our power guide whoa we got two. Oh, I love it dog spirit be loyal to what you love so the numerology of 2021 is five right 2020 was a four year we're going into 2020 it's a five year this is like I said about change like you can't make it up even the astrology and the numerology are aligning that Saturn Uranus square is really going to be busting us out of ruts. But this, this totem of dog spirit is really saying, even as the changes are happening, don't forget what you're loyal to. And this is really about friendship. So there's going to be new friendship coming in too, and old friendships possibly being reinvigorated. Seahorse spirit, watch and wait. So I love the seahorse, right? This is about seeding a dream and really trusting and, and being patient that it will come forth and holding that vision, even when there's naysayers, even when it feels like, oh, maybe it's not going to come to fruition, maybe I'm not going to get what I want. Really training the mind to know you will not go to that place and you're going to hold your vision. You're going to be patient with that vision. Also, watching for signs and synchronicities to come in this year. Whenever Uranus is in play, as much as it's going to be in the next year, this is where, you know, higher consciousness, infinite spirit, creator, divine mother, God, whatever you want to call it, 
can really be coming in strong with signs and and we could be getting epiphanies and even like channeling, you know, cosmic downloads. It's a time to put your desires, prayers out there and wait for them to grow in faith, in trust. And in the trust that you wouldn't be given that vision, that desire, that want, that, that creative impulse if it wasn't meant to be yours. What is yours will always find you. So I hope you guys have a wonderful New Year's Eve wherever you are, however you're celebrating. And remember, we are in a really beautiful energy now where the changes we make will have lasting effects. And 20 years, think about 20 years. What are the changes you wanna make now so that you're really creating the next 20 years of your life exactly how you want them to be? Happy 2021.